happy Wednesday dancers. Um, as I was just reflecting on today's lesson, I was really wishing that we could be meeting in person and be in a studio and have the bars and the mirrors and the Marley floor um, and really just missing the experience of um, community in person, especially found in the dance class. But then God reminded me how amazing it is that we can still have TMI this year, despite um, everything else going on. The beauty of technology, how crazy is that, that I'm speaking to a camera right now and you're watching this probably a week, two weeks later. Um, and yeah, just how lucky we are and how blessed we are to have these kind of resources at our fingertips. So just know that I am sending my love and big virtual hugs through the camera, wishing that we could be together today to dance in person, but um, pretend we're all together in one spirit um, as we're dancing in our kitchens and in our basements. So uh, let's dive into the scripture of today. This comes from Ecclesiastes 4, 5. It's short and sweet. I just want you to close your eyes where you are and we're just gonna listen. One handful of peaceful repose is better than two fistfuls of worried work, more spitting into the wind. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, God, that you provide peace when our flesh and our um, inherent nature as human beings wants to worry and stress and freak out. Lord, we thank you, God, that you provide peace, that you just reach out with your hands and you say, here, son, here, daughter, let me give you your peace. Lord, I pray, Lord, that we would accept that offering today. Lord, isn't, as we're um, starting to become a little more tired throughout the, the middle of the week, God, we ask, Lord, that you would meet us where we are. Meet us in our rooms as we're dancing today, God. And we ask, Lord, that your peace would just resonate in our minds and in our bodies and in our spirits today, Jesus. We bless you, Father God, and we give you all the praise and the honor and the glory that's due to your precious and holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome. Grab your ballet shoes, your water, and your ballet bar, whether it's your kitchen chair or something else. Um, and we're heading into our ballet technique class. In the left side. Okay, so we're going to start on the right side so my left hand will be on my bar my chair and i'm going to start in first position heels together toes apart we're going to start with a demi plie this is preparation five and six open seven and a demi plie one and stretch demi plie two and stretch grand plie all the way down five and six and seven and eight, port de bras forwards, and one, two, rolling up, three, four, backwards, five, combray back, six, seven, time to second. We go demi plie, and stretch, demi plie, and stretch, grand plie, all the way down, five, six, and seven, a towards a bar we go one and two three and four away from the bar five six seven tendu to fifth we go demi plie and stretch again demi plie stretch grand plie all the way down five six seven a circular port de bras one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll rise into susu. We're gonna balance, balance, balance. Open the arms to second position. Plie, tendu back to first position to finish. Great, let's try that with music. Here we 
There we go. Seven. Eight. There we go. Then it's the A one. Two. Three. Four. Quarter bra forwards. And one. Roll up. To the back. Second position. Demi plie one. Two. Grand plie. All the way down. Quarter bra to the side. Away from the bar. Fifth position. And one. Circular porter bra. Susu and balance. And finish back to first position. And hold. Great, good job. Okay, let's go left side. So you're going to move your bar to the opposite side. Now you'll have your right hand on the bar, left hand down on ba. First position, heels together, toes apart, and begin. Here we go. Seven, eight, demi plie, we go one. Two. Grand plie. Porter bra forwards. And back. Second. Demi. Grand. Towards the bar. Way. Fifth position. Circular porter bra. Fifth position. on to tondus. We're going to start in first position. It's a quick intro, so we'll just go seven and a tondu to the front, one and a two, three and a four, tondu five, lift it off, put it down to the side, one, two, two mini developes, developé, developé. Close to the back, to the back, same thing as the front, back, lift it off, put it down, same thing to the side, side, developé, developé. And you'll repeat front, 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 pick it up, put it down to the side, to the side, developé, developé. To the back, to the back, to the back, pick it up, put it down to the side, to the side, developé, developé. Good, those develop pays will just come straight from first. So let's not cross over to feet, uh, fifth, just keep it first, first. Good, from there we'll go port bra forwards, one, two, three, four, roll up, five, six, seven, port bra backwards, swing the arm to the back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, plie, rolling through, four starch. Gonna find our balance, first position, and then we'll come down and then we'll go to the left. Okay, here we go. Seven, eight, one, two. Pick it up, 
put it down to the side, develop a side, side to the back. One, two, three, pick it up, put it down to the side, side, develop a repeat. Use the arm. One, two, pick it up, put it down, side, develop a to the back. Whoa, and mask it up. Two, to the side. Good, quarter bar forwards. One, two, three, to the back. Five, six, seven, eight, plie, roll through, four starch. Let go, balance, nice, solid, strong core. And finish. Left side. Good. I messed up the back there, but you got it. Here we go. And one, two, three. To the side. Again, one to the side, to the back, lift it up to the side, develop a there we go. Forward up to the back, release the arm. Here we go, plie, rolling through, balance, nice and solid, and finish, good job. Okay, so now we'll be working on degage, so we're going to start with our right foot, we're going to do eight on the right side, eight on the left side, four on the right side, four on the left side, two, two, one, 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 one. So we're going to go one and a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left side one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To the right, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, two, and one, 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 one. From there, we're going to go plie, relevé, plie, relevé. Four times, four. From here, we're gonna shift over to our right side. We're gonna take our left foot to coupe. We're gonna try and balance. We're just gonna let go of the bar, see if you can hold it, and then switch left side. So I'm in coupe. My foot is to the back of my ankle, so it should look like this. Yes, good. So when you decage, you wanna make sure that we are not shifting our hips side to side. What we want to do is keep our hip bones nice and straight. In the degage, we have a nice straight knee. The knee should not bend whatsoever. Okay, here we go, let's try. So we're going to start in first position. If you feel more comfortable focusing on your feet for this, that's totally fine. You can just keep your hands on your hips. Or otherwise, we're going to keep our arm out in second position. So you're going to go for preparation 5, 6, tendu 7, flex 8. 
two frappes to the front. One, flex, two, flex. Two to the side. One, flex, two, flex. Two to the back. One, flex, two, flex. We're going to do petit patma with your flex foot. Five and six and seven and tendu eight, flex and. So eight and. Then we reverse. One and two. Three and four. Five and six. Seven and eight. And a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a eight. And a one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and a eight. And from here, circular port de bras. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, one, two. Three, four, we're going to turn into the bar. Seven, eight, attitude, balance. Back foot is going to go up, attitude. We're going to let go of the bar. Five, six, release, seven, eight. If that's too much, all we're going to focus on is a passe with the back foot. So I'm going to turn towards my, my bar, lift my back foot, passe, and we're just going to hold it. So it's your balance of choice. Either you can do an attitude back, extend into an arabesque, or just passe hold. Totally up to you how you want to challenge yourself. Okay? So we're going to go from fifth position, five, six, tendu, seven, flex, eight. Okay? Here we go. Messed up. Let's do that one more time. Here we go. It's quick. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, to the back, five, six, petite pas ma, seven, eight, to the back, to the side, to the front. Again, front, side, to the back, and to the back, reverse, front, petit bama, circular port de bras, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Here we go. Plie, either passe or attitude. Find your balance. If you want to test your balance, let go. Or at best. And finish. Good. Left side. Switching it around. Left side. Really make sure your frappes are strong. Frappe means to strike. So, Every time you hit the floor, it should feel like strike, strike. And especially with carpet, sometimes it's hard to feel that. But really try to brush all the way through the length of the foot, through the toes, to get that striking action. Here we go. Quick intro. Seven, and one, two, three. Five, six, seven, to the back. Let me hear it. To the front. Petit bump ma. Again, one. To the side. To the back. Petit bump ma. To the back. To the side. To the front. Petite bump ma. Circular porter arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Turn towards the bar. Plie. Passe the back foot. Either stay here or attitude. Find your balance. 
release and close. Good job. Okay, so now we're moving on to Grand Bahamas. We're going to put our left hand on the bar. We're going to go um, arms out to the side. Seven, eight. Come into the front. One, close. Two, Degas. Three and the four. Two Grand Bahamas. Five and the six and the seven. Eight to the side. Tendu and close. Degas. Three, four. Grand Bahamas. Five and six, seven. To the back we go. Tendu and close. Degas. And close. Grand Bahamas. Six, seven, eight. You're gonna brush out to the side on a forty-five degree angle, and then you go five. Swirl, six, seven, and eight. Left side, time to one, and close, two, and close. Grandma, Ma, three, and close, four, and close. Left side, time to two, two grandma, mas, two grandma, mas. To the back, time to close, Degage, close, grandma, ma, five, six, seven, eight, to the side, Swirl in, knee to the side, out, big brush, open, turn around, and finish. Okay, here we go. Okay, so for your third day of choreographic homework, today we are looking at objects in space. So from yesterday, you should have picked out your location, you should have um, determined what objects in your space are starting to relate to your story. So now I kind of want to dive into um, the emotion of a site. So, have you guys ever heard the, the saying, a window of opportunity? Probably, most likely you have, because it's very common. But when you say a window of opportunity, a lot of people associate windows with um, passing through, seeing through something, peering through something, a new beginning of something, um, being seen by someone else, or seen out into the future or into the past, um, looking through something. This is just one way of using um, the sights around you and the objects in the space around you as emotional narrative. So start to think about the emotion of your story and how it can relate to the space that you're currently in. So thinking of your location as a duet partner, let's say you have stairs. So a, a stair can mean traveling from point A to point B. This could allude to um, several things. It can mean, it has double meaning like heaven and hell. Or it can mean traveling from a bad place, a low place, traveling to a really good and fruitful and happy place. Um, stairs can represent transition. Stairs can represent um, different seasons of life and moving through them. Um, other things to think about, if you have a desk, a drawer, what hides in those drawers? Are those secrets? Are those um, secret letters and notes? Different things that can relate to your story. A desk is something that is stable and sturdy. It is where you study and you contemplate and you think about things. Also, doors. Doorways are 
new opportunities, new beginnings, walking through the door or saying goodbye to something and closing the door. So when you start to look at your site and say maybe, hey, I'm going to dance my entire phrase, my entire film, it's going to be done in a door frame because my emotion and my story that I'm trying to portray about meeting God's presence was in a place where I felt like I was in a really bad part of my life, but God took me through a new doorway into a new season of life. So if you just start to think about things that are already in your space, how can that relate to the story that you're trying to tell? So today we're focusing on furniture. What I want you to do is take those five movements, the five shapes that you have, and put them onto your furniture. So even if it's just a wall, a wall can be support. It can be your another person and another character in your life. Um, I'm going to take those five shapes, one, two, three, and I'm going to put them on the wall. So it's one, two, three. That's a silly, easy example, but you guys know what to do. So pretend your piece of furniture, your piece of architecture is your duet partner and choose those five, sa five shapes and they have to be connected to your piece of furniture. Okay? You got this. I believe in you and I'm super excited to see how this is going to turn out. Okay. Good job.